Welcome to my latest YouTube video. I'm going to start this video with a quote from one of my favorite movies called The Sixth Sense. I want to tell you my secret now. I see narcissists. In your dreams? Since I've made so much progress on my uh, in self love recovery, which is the uh, treatment protocol, the treatment program that I created for self love deficit disorder, that once you get to a certain point of self love abundance, you start to see the world differently, and it is really amazing. And in some ways, it's a little bit disturbing. And I'm going to talk about the disturbing part today. But first, the amazing stuff. When you overcome your self-love deficiency or your self-love deficit disorder and connect to self-love abundance, you not only are not attracted to narcissists anymore, but you can recognize them. Um, the human magnet syndrome changes and the attraction to the old, attra the old attraction doesn't work anymore. But when you solved the primary problems responsible for SLDD, which of course you guys have heard by now, in many a video, you know, if you think of my my um, uh, uh, my SLDD uh, pyramid, at the at the foundation is the attachment trauma. Um, the attachment trauma is the core shame, feeling fundamentally broken. From the core shame is pathological loneliness. This existential void is painful, searingly painful, dreadfully painful loneliness. From that loneliness pain comes, from, um, we go to the need to self medicate. To get rid of the pain that's the SLDD addiction or the codependency addiction and that's where you fall in love with the narcissist because who else are you gonna find if you're an SLD um, in, um, in the human magnet syndrome always works in that direction and at the top of the the, the the pyramid is SLDD or codependency so my point is once you solve those problems in, in psychotherapy in your own recovery you um, become self love abundant that's the codependency cure. And some really cool things happen. You start to recognize narcissists everywhere. In fact, I created the saying, I call it my, uh, my narsometer. Um, you have a narsometer that is, uh, that, uh, is installed. <laughs> I say that uh, metaphorically because no one installs a narsometer. But there's this internal feeling, this this. Geiger counter of sorts that goes off when you're around narcissists. The SL, the SLA or the self love abundant has this feeling of discomfort and anxiety around narcissists, which is the opposite of the human magnet syndrome of when they were an SLD. Because when they're around narcissists, then they're, they want some of that. You know, wow, oh, she's hot, she's beautiful. You know, he's charming, he's bold, he's charismatic, um, and you you want that. That's the dance. That's the the SLD narcissist dance. But when you're in self of abundance, all of a sudden, you know, you have these alarms go off and you, and, and you just want to like run, you know, like, you know, it's like, and your, your narcometer, you know, you know, starts buzzing or maybe yours has an alarm. Mine actually has this um, sense of feeling to my stomach where it gets really tight. Um, and what happens is you see them everywhere, everywhere. Um, and I know this is not just me. The people that have reached self-love abundance who, are, um, who have overcome um, codependency or self-love deficit disorder, they tell me the same thing, that everywhere they go, um, they see people on that continuum, my relationship compatibility continuum. There's always going to be um, someone who's more of a caregiver and always someone who's going to be more of a care needer. 
not necessarily pathological, but the world fits on that continuum. And when you're at a party, you're at work, and if there is a pathological narcissist, it's, it's, you can't miss it. One is your, um, your <laughs> narcissometer is going to go off, and you're going to feel uncomfortable. That's why I say I see narcissism. Excuse me, I see narcissists everywhere. Or as the or the kid said in the Sixth Sense, I see dead people. Um, you can't escape it. Now, I'm not necessarily saying this is a bad deal. In fact, I think this is a um, this is something to aspire to. This is something to um, be motivated to achieve. Um, because it's not so bad spotting the narcissist wherever they go. Because when you know you're with a narcissist and you can predict what they're going to do, you stay out of harm's way. Now, I'm not, I'm not suggesting that just because you can see all these narcissists and, and your narcissometer goes off all the time, um, that you should like do something about it. Um, quite the contrary. Um, in fact, if say you go to a party or say you're at work or say you're, you know, in, in, in a business dealing and you and your narcissometer goes off and and there's one, maybe several narcissists, maybe a room full of narcissists, you have the option to use my observe not absorb technique or just merely kind of disconnect and watch the circus. <laughs> watch the, the clowns be clowns, you know, the the monkeys be monkeys, you know, the circus animals. Let them be who they are and stay um, disconnected from it while being in the circus as much as you need to be or as required. And so when you walk into a room and there's a bunch of narcissists and you're at a party and your narcissometer goes off and you're able to go, okay, narcissist, go to M or SLD, narcissist, SLD, narcissist. Looking for an SLD, SLD, narcissist. Uh, they're going to get together by the end of the night. SLD, SLD, not compatible. Um, you kind of have a, you have an opportunity to weigh um, and evaluate your environment, um, and so you want to have a good time. So having a good time would not um, require you calling everyone out. Plus, don't do that. Um, that's only going to <laughs> piss off the narcissist, make the SLDs uncomfortable, and result in you being quite unpopular. But what it does is it helps you, um, it helps you orientate yourself toward your environment and the people in which you're interacting with. So that when you're talking to the narcissist, uh, you let them talk a little bit more than you normally would want to talk yourself, and you don't get yourself upset. You're, you're practicing the observed and absorb technique. And what happens is you can have a good time because you're in a circus that has these monkeys and these clowns and they're not regular people. If they were regular people, you'd be disappointed. So you go to parties, you go to business events, you let the narcissist be who they are. Um, as long as you have good boundaries and, and you know how to keep them from hurting you, you just kind of watch it, kind of let it wash over you. And I promise you, you can have a good time. Your evenings are not ruined. You just have to shift mentally and emotionally and let them be who they are and know that you have to play into um, this, for lack of a better word, circus routine for a short period of time. Because, you know, I'm not advocating that you lower your, um, your, um, uh, your standards and your boundaries. But don't let them upset you. Walk away if they start doing narcissistic you know, um, actions, make narcissistic comments. And go to another side, uh, of, you know, another side of, of, of the room or another place um, in the building. Or just find a safe place where you don't have to be around narcissists. And then when you get your breath back, <laughs> you, get your, you get your focus back, go back into the party. Go back into the group because we can't escape the narcissist. They're all over the place. Remember uh, the kid in Sixth Sense? I see dead people. Well, I see narcissists. They're everywhere. By the way, I also see SLDs and I see healthy people and I see people that are getting healthier. So don't get me wrong. 
But I promise you, once you start to learn this human magnet syndrome stuff, if I can call my work stuff, and my codependency cure stuff, and you start to achieve some level of self-recovery, you're going to see narcissists everywhere. And there, there should be a secret society of people who um, see narcissists everywhere. Um, you're going to enjoy life more than ever. You're not going to be activated by the narcissist. You're not going to get in the wrestling ring. It's, uh, I, I talk about the wrestling ring a lot in my observe and absorb work. I think it was George Bernard Shaw said, never wrestle with pigs because you're going to get dirty. Besides that, pigs love to wrestle. Well, if you are in a Dunkin' Donuts uh, or a Starbucks and there's a narcissist in front of you, or for that matter, behind you, or <laughs> Just watch them be narcissists. Be, let them be in their own circus. And just make sure you don't um, uh, pick up, uh, pick up uh, uh, you don't participate in it. I promise you, your life is going to be so much better. So, you know, I guess in closing, or I should say, and it's a little bit paradoxical, the fact that you can see narcissists everywhere and you have this uh, narcissometer that is um, loyal to um, your mental health, your emotional health, your new self of abundance, and it, and it goes off and keep batteries in it. And I probably can do something with that um, analogy, but I'll do that later. No, actually, I'll do it now. The batteries for your <laughs> the batteries for your narsometer is taking care of yourself. The what keeps your narsometer working is self love. So your batteries require self-love um, brand batteries. But so with, with the narcissometer and with the narcissist everywhere, um, at worst, you're, you're amused and a little bit annoyed, but at best, no one's messing with you. You just are able to um, stay um, free from being triggered, from being activated, from being pulled into their wrestling ring, to being pulled into their own drama. So I welcome all of you to see narcissists everywhere. And I promise you will. Just work on your self-love deficiency, work towards self-love abundance, and you're going to be like that little uh, Joel Haley Osment character and see the narcissist or dead people everywhere. The difference is you're not going to be tormented. You're going to live life um, feeling free um, from their control. And you're going to enjoy the happiness of uh, yourself. So with that, I close with, I see narcissists. I see narcissists everywhere. And that's good. And you might be able to see them too. And I look forward to hearing from you in, in the comments if you yourself, with your own self-love abundance or your work towards it, are also seeing them everywhere. And, and feeling better because of it. So be well, and uh, don't, let, don't let the narcissist bring you down. And definitely don't join the circus. Take care, and I'll talk to you later.